Gardnerella vaginalis. Gardnerella vaginalis is an anaerobic bacterium that resides in the normal vaginal flora. Gardnerella vaginalis is gram variable, which means it can stain either positive or negative with gram staining. Normally, vaginal flora is predominated by the lactobacilli species, but when organisms such as Gardnerella begin to overgrow and become the dominant species, this leads to bacterial vaginosis. Normally, the vaginal flora is made up mostly of lactobacilli, which keep vaginal pH below 4.5. When the number of lactobacilli decreases, that results in an imbalance of vaginal flora, which increases the vaginal pH. Bacterial vaginosis is the most common cause of vaginal discharge in females of reproductive age. Presents as a gray vaginal discharge with a fishy smell. Non-painful versus vaginitis, associated with sexual activity, but not sexually transmitted. A selective medium for Gardnerella is collicin oxalinic acid blood sugar. Virulence Gardnerella vaginalis itself produces a poor forming toxin, vaginalysin, that can only affect human cells. Vaginalysin is a cholesterol dependent cytolysin that initiates complex signaling cascades that induce target cell lysis and allow for Gardnerella's virulence. Diagnosis AMSL criteria for diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis. At least three criteria must be present. Homogeneous, thin, grayish-white discharge that smoothly coats the vaginal walls. Vaginal pH greater than 4.5. A positive whiff test. Mixing discharge with 10% potassium hydroxide gives off a fishy odor. Clue cells. Epithelial cells coated with cacobacilli observed on wet mount. Nugent score. The diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis is often made according to Nugent's classification, a scoring system based on bacterial counting of gram stained slides of vaginal secretion. This takes more time and resources than the AMSL criteria, so it's mostly used in a research setting. The score is determined by the average number of each morphotype seen per oil immersion field, but varies with the type of bacteria. Excluding lactobacillus morphotypes, a score of 0 means no morphotypes are present. A score of 1 or 0 to 1 means morphotype present per high power field. A score of 2 or 1 to 4 means morphotypes present. A score of 3 or 5 to 30 means morphotypes present. A score of 4 or 30 or more means morphotypes present. A total score of 7 to 10 is indicative of bacterial vaginosis infection. 4 to 6 is indeterminate, and a score of 0 to 3 is normal. Total score equal to lactobacilli score and garner ala vaginalis score and bacterioid species score and curved gram variable rod score. Treatment Drug of choice is oral metronidazole, twice daily for seven days. Look if the diagnosis has been confirmed based on any of the following. AMSL criteria, gram stain, commercial test. If yes, does the patient have symptoms, vaginal discharge, vaginal odor, or is the patient about to have a vaginal surgery or procedure? If yes, is the individual pregnant or lactating? neither pregnant nor lactating, then preferred treatment is oral metronidazole, 500 mg twice daily for seven days, or vaginal metronidazole, 0.75% gel, 5 grams in the vagina once daily for five days, or vaginal clindamycin, 2% cream, 5 grams in the vagina once daily for seven days. If pregnant, Treat symptomatic pregnant individuals with oral metronidazole 500 mg twice daily for 7 days or oral metronidazole 250 mg three times daily for 7 days or oral clindamycin 300 mg twice daily for 7 days. If lactating, treat symptomatic lactating individuals with oral metronidazole preferred 500 mg twice daily for 7 days or oral clindamycin, 300 mg twice daily for seven days. If no vaginal discharge, vaginal odor, or patient is about to have a vaginal surgery or procedure, observe and do not treat.
Bacterial vaginosis often resolves without treatment. Treatment with antibiotics can result in vaginal yeast infections.